In this video, we're going to take a look at how to solve an inequality. Now, solving an inequality is almost identical to solving an equation. So we're going to be using the same rules and balancing our equations by doing the same thing to both sides. We're just going to change it in a couple of ways. So first of all, rather than writing a equal sign, we're going to keep the inequality sign. And we're going to remember one golden rule. We are not going to multiply or divide by a negative number. Now, there are reasons for that, which I'm not going to go into in this video, but there's always a way around it. We can always either add or subtract. Um, if we were to do it, we would just have to flip the sign, but it can always be avoided. So let's not bother. Right. So in our first example, we've got X plus six is greater than three. So we're going to treat it like a equation. We are going to take six from both sides so we can isolate that X. So that means I'll be left with just an X on the left and I'll have a minus three on the right. So I've solved the inequality, X is greater than minus three. Now to draw that on a number line, we're going to need to remember our work from the previous video. And we will just draw a very quick number line, making sure we're going up. And I will put the circle over the minus three. Now X is greater than that. So greater means we're going to the right, to the bigger numbers. There we are. Okay, next example, 3x plus 7 is greater than or equal to 19. So exactly the same thing as solving the equation 3x plus 7 equal to 19. We'll start by taking 7 from both sides. If we do that, we're going to be having a 3x left on its own on the left-hand side. And on the right hand side, we're going to have just 12 because 19 take away 7 is 12. OK, to get X on its own and to isolate that X, we're now going to divide by 3 because we want to get rid of the 3X and currently X is multiplying by 3. So if we do that, we've successfully isolated that X. On the right hand side, we have 4. So our answer is x is greater than or equal to 4. Now, to draw this on a number line, we can just put the 4 in place, put the circle over it. We're going to be greater than 4, so we are going to have the arrow pointing to the right, and we're going to color in that circle because it includes the 4 as well. Now, this is a slightly more interesting example. We've got a couple of things we could do here. So what we can do is we could either treat it as an equation with three parts, or we could do everything separately. So I could take this part of it, right? And write minus seven and is less than five X plus three like that and solve that one or Alternatively, I could do exactly the same and to this part of it, write my 5x plus 3 um, over there. So let's do that, okay, and let's see what happens and solve them separately and we'll try to bring them together at the end. So if I'm going to do this, I am first of all, if we start with the blue version, take 3 um, from both sides. And this is going to give me minus 10 less than 5x. Now I'm going to divide by 5. So, oh, excuse me. So dividing by 5 on both sides, that's going to give me minus 2 less than x. Now let's move on to that red equation. Or oh, I should say inequality, excuse me. 5x less than or equal to 20. What I've done there is I've taken three again from both sides. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to divide by five. If I divide both sides by five, I'll have X is less than or equal to four. Now, I have two parts to this. I have that we have X is greater than minus two and we have X is less than or equal to four. So we need to combine these. So our final answer is going to be minus 2 is less than x, which is less than or equal to 4. Just because I split them apart, 
means I can just bring them together at the end. Both statements are true and they can be written just like that. Okay, I hope that helps you to solve inequalities.